competing in today's Samsung kickoff, the Malaya superstars go head to head with the Thai Reds. The Malaya superstars from Selangor are Hafiz, who's 24 and a marketing director, his brother and colleague, 23 year old Nizam, who is mad about Manchester United. They're taking on the Thai Reds. Last year's beaten kickoff finalists are Chet, a 24 year old credit analyst, and Pai, a hard hitting journalist from Bangkok. Malaysia up against Thailand in Samsung kickoff. It's the search for the most knowledgeable football fans in Asia. And if you think you know football, then Samsung Kickoff is the show for you. Two teams go head to head tonight. The Malaya superstars against the Thai Reds, led into battle by our resident captains. On my right hand side, former Tottenham and Liverpool star Paul Walsh. Would it be fair to say that you've drilled your team well, or have they been drilling you, Paul? I think they've been drilling me, Andrew. Uh, a little bit nervous, to be fair, but uh, I think they can't wait for it to get started. Absolutely. Nothing to worry about until I start asking the questions. John Beresford with last season's runners-up. Confident of going all the way this time? I think so, yeah. I think the experience will make a difference this year. Good stuff. Some absolutely fabulous prizes up for grabs here on Samsung Kickoff. Let's remind you what they are. For the winners of Samsung Kickoff is a once in a lifetime, all expenses paid trip to London to catch Chelsea in action against the team of their choice, as well as a magnificent 40 inch Bordeaux Plus LCD TV each. For our runners up, well, they'll get one of these crystal clear LCD screens each. And for everybody else, we've got the very latest in home theatre, digital cameras, mobile phones and MP3s, all courtesy of our very good friends at Samsung. The formalities are over. Let's get into the action. The first round is one-on-one, -on -one, three rounds, where the fastest on the buzzer gets the advantage. Let's play one-on-one. -on -one. Our first round of one-on-one -on -one is called Great Goals. Name the goal scorer and win the right to answer three bonus questions. For the Malaya superstars on my right, I have Nizam. On my left, it's Pai for the Thai Reds. Fingers on buzzers, gentlemen. Who scored this great goal? Pai is the correct answer. Three more questions on Paul Scholes. How many World Cups has Scholes played in? Have to hurry you. One. The answer is two. Which current League One side does Skulls support? Nottingham Forest. Wrong. The answer is Oldham Athletic. Paul Skulls was the first England player to do what at the old Wembley Stadium? Score a hat-trick. Wrong. The answer is get sent off. Let's have a look at great goal number two. Fingers on buzzers, gentlemen. Who scored this? Yes, Pi is the correct answer. Beardsley was signed twice by which Northeastern club? Newcastle United. Correct. Everton signed Beardsley from which club? Liverpool. Have to hurry you. Liverpool. Is the correct answer. Beardsley had two playing spells with which Canadian club? Have to hurry you. The answer is the Vancouver Whitecaps. That is the end of our great goals round. We're going to play connections next as our next two contestants come down to the hot zone. Let's have a look at the scores. It's the Thai Reds who are out of the blocks fastest with a lead of four points to nil after the first round of one on one. It's time now to play connections. Something links these next four people and we need Hafiz or Chet from the Malaya Superstars or the Thai Reds to tell us what it is. Gentlemen, fingers on buzzers. First one in to get it right earns the right to answer three more bonus questions. What connects these four people? Michel Platini, 
Gérard Houllier. Jacques Santini. Yes, Hafiz. French squish. Yes, I will accept that. All managers of the French national side. Three more questions to come, Hafiz. Which country did France beat in the 1998 World Cup final? Brazil. Correct. In which year did Michel Platini captain France to their first European Championship title? 1982. The answer is 1984. Gérard Houllier helped develop France's celebrated National Youth Academy, but where is it based? Marseille. No, the answer is Claire Fontaine. It's time to play Connections Part 2. I want you to identify the connection, gentlemen, between these four individuals. Salvatore Schilacci. Eusebio. Gerd Muller. Yes, Hafiz. Top scorer in the World Cup. I will accept that. Which country did Eusebio play for? Portugal. Correct. Davor Šuka played international football for Croatia and which other country? Yugoslavia. Correct. Which Japanese side did Skelachi play for between 1994 and 1997? Have to hurry you. The answer is Jubilo Iwata. And that is the end of our connections round. We're going to play the grid next, but in the meantime, let's have a look at the scores. Connections proved to be a very fruitful round for the Malaya superstars. They take the lead by five points to four. It's time now to play the grid. Behind the grid, you see on your screen, will be a well-known football personality. The two captains who join me in the hot zone have to identify that person as we slowly unveil it. Three bonus questions to follow. Paul Walsh on my right, John Beresford on my left. Identify this well-known football personality. Yes, Paul. Ray Clements. Is the correct answer. Three more questions to follow on Ray Clements. Ray Clements' son currently plays for Leicester City. What is his first name? Stephen. Correct. Which English club did Ray Clements play more games for? Was it Liverpool or Tottenham Hotspur? Liverpool. Is the correct answer. Bill Shankly signed Clements from which current championship club? Scunthorpe. Is the correct answer. Let's play grid number two. Who, gentlemen, is this? Yes, John. Paul Robinson. Is the correct answer. Which England manager famously dropped Robinson for a crucial European Championship qualifier against Croatia? Steve McLaren. Correct. Paul Robinson began his professional career at which current League One club? Leeds United. Correct. Against which club did Paul Robinson score his first professional goal? Have to hurry, you, John. Go. Nope, the answer is Swindon Town. That completes the grid and one-on-one. -on -one. Let's have a check on the scores. The Malaya superstars lead after one-on-one -on -one by nine points to seven. The referee has blown his whistle, which means it's time for a break here on Samsung Kickoff. But it's an opportunity for you to get involved and pick up a really great prize in our very special SMS competition. Here's another chance to get hold of the latest in MP3 technology from Samsung. Taking part couldn't be simpler. All you have to do is tell us who scored this great goal. Was it A, Sean Wright Phillips, B, Michael Essien, or C, Salomon Callum? If you think you know the answer, SMS kickoff, followed by either A, B, or C, to the numbers that you see on your screen. And who knows, that magical MP3 player could soon be winging its way to you. We'll announce the winner next week. For now, we're headed for a break. Welcome back to Samsung Kickoff, where the Malaya superstars have a narrow two point lead over the Thai Reds. It's now time to play the draw. There are 10 balls, and each ball refers to a specific category. Each team will have 10 questions or one minute on that category. Let's have a look at the options for the Malaya superstars. It's all about the luck of the draw, but the Malaya superstars could be answering questions on feeder clubs, England in 1966, or even white lines. Gentlemen, pick a ball, any ball, from rows one, two, three, or four. Right, well, I think we're going to go centre midfield. Andrew. That's right in the middle? Yeah, you got it. 
you have chosen category three, which is all about European football. Ten questions on players, managers and clubs from Europe. Can I have one minute on the clock, please? Your 60 seconds start right now. Who are the current holders of the European Championship trophy? AC Milan. Wrong. The answer is Greece. Who is this? Stoichkov. First name? Bristo. Correct. Which individual honour did Stoichkov win in 1994? European Football of the Year. Correct. Who plays their home football at the Mastaya? Valencia. Correct. In which country do Bronbu play their domestic Denmark. football? Correct. Who is this? Del Piero. First name? Alexander. I can't accept that. It's Alessandro. Del Piero's Juventus and which other club play in the city of Turin? Torino. Correct. Which team has won the most Belgian league titles? Anderlecht. Correct. Which team won the last ever European Cup Winners Cup? Seville. Wrong. The answer is Lazio. Who are the current... Cannot complete the question. Your time is up. And at the end of your first round of the draw, you have scored six points. Let's have a look at the categories on offer for the Thai Reds in their first round of the draw. The possibilities are Colombian cuts, the playmakers, the world according to Keith. All right, it's the luck of the draw. Hit the ball. Straight down at the bottom. This one down here. That's the one. You have chosen category six. You have ten questions or one minute on the 80s. Don't forget, I can only accept the answer from the captain. Can I have one minute on the clock, please? Your 60 seconds start right now. Which Dutch striker was voted European Player of the Year in 1988 and 1989? Marco van Basten. Correct. Who is this? Diego Maradona. Correct. Who did Maradona score two goals against in the 1986 World Cup quarterfinal? England. Correct. Kevin Keegan, Chris Waddle and Peter Beardsley all played for which club in the 1980s? Newcastle United. Correct. Which player did Tottenham Hotspur sign for £2 million from Newcastle in 1988? Paul Gascoigne. Correct. Who is this? Bobby Robson. Correct. Can you name England's other manager during the 1980s? The answer is Ron Greenwood. Which two countries hosted World Cups during the 1980s? Spain and Mexico. Correct. Which legendary Italian defender was part of Italy's squad for the 1982 World Cup? I cannot complete the question. At the end of your first round of the draw, Thai Reds, you have scored seven out of a possible ten. Time to move on now to the Milan Superstars, your second round of the draw. Would you like to pick a ball? You know the categories. Yeah, I think we're going to right back at a back four, Andrew. It's category number seven. It refers to full backs. You have 60 seconds, one minute or ten questions. Remember, I will only accept answers from your captain. Can I have a minute on the clock, please? Your 60 seconds start right now. Carlos Alberto was captain of which World Cup winning team? Brazil. Correct. Who is this? Get me in Turam. Correct. Turam scored two goals in the 1998 World Cup semi final for which country? Croatia. Croatia. Wrong. The answer is France. Which country does Emmanuel Ebue play his international football for? Ivory Coast. Correct. Which 1950s Tottenham fullback went on to become a highly successful England manager? Pass. The answer is Sir Alf Ramsey. Who is this? Christian Ziegler. Incorrect. The answer is Christian Ziegler. Ziegler moved from Bayern Munich to which Italian club? Pass. The answer is AC Milan. Which three London clubs has Ashley Cole played for? Arsenal, Chelsea, keep you up. No, the answer is Arsenal, Chelsea and Crystal Palace. A 
at the end of your second round of the Draw Malaya Superstars, you have scored three points. Time now for your second bash at it. Would you like to pick a ball? Top newest to you, Andrew. This one here. Mm -hmm. You've chosen category number seven as well. If you have 60 seconds on Scottish football. Can I have a minute on the clock, please? Your minute starts now. Goalkeeper Craig Gordon joined Sunderland from which Scottish club? Hearts. Correct. Who is this? Gordon Strachan. Correct. Which club does Strachan currently manage? Celtic. Correct. What is the collective nickname given to the two Glasgow Giants? Pass. The Old Firm. Who was the first player to score 100 Scottish Premier League goals? Kenny Dalglish. Wrong. Henrik Larsson. Who is this? Chris Sutton. Correct. Celtic signed Sutton from which club in the year 2000? Chelsea. Correct. Who was the first player to score 100 goals in both the Scottish and English leagues? Frank McAvenny. Wrong. The answer is Kenny Dalglish. Which former Celtic player was the first Catholic to play for Rangers? Mo Johnston. Correct. Which Scottish club provided the entire Scottish team for their first international? You have time remaining. Rangers. Wrong. The answer is Queen's Park. And your time is up at the end of your second round of the draw. The Tyre Reds have scored six points. That completes the draw. Let's have a look at the scores. It's an arrow lead then for the Thai Reds heading into the final round. 20 points, they lead by two from the Malaya Superstars. We're headed for a short break here on Samsung Kickoff, but for those of you who have always dreamed of playing and training with Chelsea Football Club, this is an opportunity for you to train like a pro. Ever dreamt of training with the Premier League's finest? Well, here's your chance to train like a pro with Chelsea. For details of how to enter Samsung's exclusive Train Like a Pro competition, log on to www.espnstar.com forward slash kickoff. to our final part of Samsung kickoff where the Thai Reds lead the Malaya Superstars by 20 points to 18. Plenty of points though up for grabs in our final round. It's called Quickfire. There are three rounds of Quickfire. The first worth four points, the second worth six, and the final round worth 10. It's all about being the fastest on the buzzer. Plus one for a correct answer, minus one for an incorrect answer. I'm joined in the hot zone by the captains, Paul Walsh and John Beresford. Can I have one minute on the clock, please? Fingers on buzzers. Your minute starts right now. Who served as Watford manager twice, as well as taking the role? Yes, John. Graham Taylor. Correct. Thierry Henry left Arsenal for which? Yes, Paul. Barcelona. Correct. Which former Everton boss was the last English manager to win the FA Cup? The answer is too late, Joe Royal. Who was the chairman of Southampton between 1996 and 2006? Paul. Rupert Lowe. Correct. Which club play their home games at the Riverside Stadium? Paul. Middlesbrough. Correct. Who is the current manager of Russia? John. Too late, the answer is Goose Hiddink, one away. The New England Revolution are managed by which former Liverpool player? The answer is Steve Nicol. Which former chairman appointed Sam Allardyce as Newcastle manager? Yes, Paul. The answer is Freddie Shepard, one away. Which midfielder left Reading on a free transfer for Chelsea? Yes, John. Steve Sidwell. Correct. Who was replaced as manager of Wigan in November 2007? Paul. Paul Jordan. Wrong. The answer is Chris Hutchings. What is the Brazilian fullback Marcos Evangelista de Moraes? Better known as Time is Up. I cannot finish the question. And you'll be delighted to know that at the end of the first round of Quickfire, it's a draw. Let's have a look at how that affects the scores. And not surprisingly, with no points gained from the first round of quick fart, there's no change to the score. The Thai Reds still lead by two. It's time for the second round of quick fart with just two points the difference between the two teams. Six points up for grabs in this second round of quick fart. And I'm joined in the hot zone by Nizam and Chet. 
gentlemen. Fingers on buzzers, please. Can I have 60 seconds on the clock? Good luck. Your 60 seconds start right now. Which of the Milan clubs play in blue and black striped shirts? Chet. Inter Milan. Correct. In which part do Liverpool want to build their new stadium? Yes, Chet. Stanley Park. Correct. Who is the only Korean to have played for Manchester United? Chet. Park Ji Sung. Correct. David Beckham trained with which London club at the end of the MLS? Yes, Chet. Arsenal. Correct. Which French club have won the last six League One titles? Chet. Lyon. Correct. Can you name the well-travelled French striker who joined Chelsea in the January 2008? Yes, Chet. Nicolas Sonioga. Correct. In which year did Sir Alex Ferguson join Manchester United? The answer is 1986. Which Frenchman is Manchester United's first choice left back? Chet. Patrick Evra. Correct. Which club has won the most Serie A titles? Yes, Nizam. Juventus. Is the correct answer. In which decade was the Bundesliga founded? The answer is the 1960s. What nationality are the owners of West Ham United? The answer is Icelandic. Time is up. Chet from the Thai Reds. You've just won six points for your team. Let's have a look at how that affects the overall scores. Going into the final round of Quickfire, the Thai Reds are in the lead by 26 points to 18. It's the third round of Quickfire. It's the final round of the day. Eight points between the Thai Reds and the Malaya superstars heading into this, but there are 10 points up for grabs. I've got Hafiz on my right. I have Pai on my left. Everything is at stake. Everything is up for grabs. Nervous? Confident? Sure. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Fingers on buzzers. Your 60 seconds start now. Roy Keane took over from which caretaker manager at Sunderland in... Yes, Pai. Now Quinn. Is the correct answer. Avram Grant managed which country before joining... Yes, Pai. Israel. Is the correct answer. Who is the current Israeli captain? The answer is Yossi Benayoun. Jürgen Klinsmann was announced as a future coach of which club? Pai. Bayern Munich. Correct. Louis Saha joined which northeastern English club on loan? Yes, Hafiz. For whom? The answer is Newcastle United. Martin O'Neill played over 250 games for which Midlands club? The answer is Nottingham Forest, which Australian defender signed for West Ham United from Blackburn. Yes, Pai. Lucas New. Correct. Which Italian club has Roy Hodgson managed twice? The answer is too late, Pai, into Milan. How many times did George Graham manage Arsenal to league success? The answer is twice. What is Portsmouth's nickname? Yes, Pai. The Pompey. Correct. Which club used to play at the Dell? Yes, Pai. Southampton. Correct. Which Italian defender is the current AC Milan captain? Pai. Paolo Maldini. Paolo Maldini is the correct answer. The time was up, but it doesn't matter because, Pai, you have taken 10 points for your team. Let's have a look at the final scores. It was tight all the way through to the last round of quick fire, but it's the Thai Reds who emerge with a 36-18 to 18 victory over the Malaya Superstars. Unbelievable tension in the studio, but it's the Thai Reds who are through to the next round. Guys, commiserations. You kept them honest all the way up until the end. Clearly, you're disappointed, but you gave a good account of yourself. Yeah, I mean, there's pressure at the end, isn't it? You know, it's all or nothing, and uh, you know, the lads over there, Chet and Pai, are experienced, was here last time out, and uh, guy's done well, but just not quite at it in the locker. Well, you're not necessarily out of the competition, of course. You could qualify as one of the best runners up. But for the runners-up of last season's competition, you're through to the next round, but it was nervy, wasn't it? Yeah, nervy, but I was also confident. As, as well as you said, experience, and uh, you know, these are, these are one of the favourites for, the, uh, for the competition, so uh, I think we'll be seeing a lot more of them. Good stuff. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Commiserations once again to the Malaya Superstars. Congratulations to the Thai Reds. Don't forget, you can take part in Samsung Kickoff and find out a little bit more about the competition by logging onto our website www.espnstar.com Do join us again for another scintillating edition of Samsung Kickoff. Until then, from all of us, it's goodbye. On today's Samsung Kickoff, the Invisibles take on the White Devils. Tao is a 23-year-old professional musician from Bangkok who loves Arsenal, while he is 22, works in marketing and supports Manchester United.
and the White Devils from KL in Malaysia are Arvin, a Leeds supporting HR executive, while his teammate is a Manchester United supporting network engineer, and his name is Anan. Thailand faces off with Malaysia on today's Samsung kickoff. Seven teams have progressed through to the next round of Samsung kickoff, and in under half an hour's time, there will be an eighth. I'm joined by the Invisibles and the White Devils in the studio, captained, of course, by Paul Walsh and John Beresford. Uh, Walshy, you're 4-3 down. Do you think you've got the firepower with you today to make it 4-0? Well, you never know until you get involved and see how the players react, but uh, they've been positive. They've been up telling me how they want to play certain sections of the show, so I'm willing to go along with that. Um, I just hope they do well. They won't be able to be invisible when they're down there on the quick fire. They won't be. John Beresford, got your tactics right for this one? It's a big game. It is, but uh, as I say, I mean, these lads from KL, you know, they're very, very positive. On it, kids, they keep putting me on the grid as well, though, so they've, uh, I think they're telling me, not me telling them. You're watching Samsung kickoff. It's all about earning the right to be called the most knowledgeable football fans in Asia. And here are the prizes up for grabs. For the winners of Samsung kickoff, is a once in a lifetime, all expenses paid trip to London to catch Chelsea in action against the team of their choice, as well as a magnificent 40 inch Bordeaux Plus LCD TV each. For our runners up, well, they'll get one of these crystal clear LCD screens each. And for everybody else, we've got the very latest in home theater, digital cameras, mobile phones, and MP3s, all courtesy of our very good friends at Samsung. The introductions have been made, the formalities are over. It's time to get into the action as we play one-on-one. -on -one. One on one is divided into three sections. Great goals, connections, and the grid. It's all about being the fastest on the buzzer and earning the right to answer three more bonus questions. I've got Tao from the Invisibles on my right. From the White Devils, it's Arvin. Gentlemen, fingers on buzzers. You're going to be playing a round called Great Goals. I need you to identify this great goal scorer, and three questions will follow. Wait until you hear your name. Identify this great goal. Yes, Arvin. Chris Sutton. Is the correct answer. Three questions to follow. At which Midlands club did Sutton finish his playing career? Birmingham City. Wrong. The answer is Aston Villa. By what military acronym was Sutton's striking partnership with Alan Shearer known as? The Deadly Duel? Nope. The SAS. Name the Norwich City manager who persuaded Sutton to switch positions from centre half to striker. Nigel Woodington. Nope. The answer is David Stringer. Let's have a look at great goal number two. Fingers on buzzers, gentlemen. First to buzz in, gets to answer it. Who scored this? <laughs> yes, Arvin. Tony Yeboah. Is the correct answer. Right on the line there. Yeboah played international football for the same African nation as Michael Essien. Which one? Ghana. Correct. At which Qatari club did Yeboah finish his playing career? The answer is Al Ittihad in Doha. Yeboah played for three German clubs. Can you name one of them? Hamburg. Is the correct answer. You could have said Eintracht Frankfurt or Saarbrücken. That is the end of great goals. It's connections up next as two more team members enter the fray. Let's have a check on the scores. It's an early advantage for the White Devils. They lead after great goals by four points to nil. It's time now to play connections. We will show the contestants four well-known football personalities. The first to buzz in and guess the correct connection gets three more questions. No referring on that one. I've got P. I've got Anand. Gentlemen, fingers on buzzers. You're about to see the pictures of four very well-known football individuals. I need to know the connection. Bill Shankly. Kenny Dalglish. Bob Paisley. 
Rafael Benitez. P. Liverpool manager. Correct. They've all managed Liverpool. Three more questions to come. Which international team did Kenny Dalglish play for? Scotland. Correct. Which Liverpool manager famously said, and I quote, if Everton were playing at the bottom of the garden, I'd pull the curtains. The answer is Bill Shankly. Who was manager of Liverpool before Shankly became boss? Joe Fagan. Wrong. The answer is Phil Taylor. Time for your second connection. Fingers on buzzers. Keeping your fingers dry helps. What connects these four individuals? Jack Charlton. Paolo Maldini. Tony Adams. Matt Letizia. Yes, Anna. Champions League winning captains? No, I can't accept that. Would you like to have an offer, P? The answer is they all played their entire career for one club. Fingers on buzzers. Three more questions to follow. What is the first name of Paolo Maldini's father? Yes, P. Cesare. Correct. Which Premier League club is Tony Adams' assistant manager of? Fulham. No, the answer is Portsmouth. And what is Jack Charlton's real first name? Jackie. No, the answer is John. Not bad, worth having a guess. That is the end of Connections. We're going to be playing The Grid next as we invite the captains to come down into the hot zone. Let's check on the scores. Not much to choose between the two teams. The White Devils have four points. The Invisibles have three. It's time now to play The Grid, behind which lurks a well-known football personality. I'm joined by the captains, as I always seem to be for this particular round. Paul Walsh, John Beresford, fingers on buzzers. Tell me who this is. Yes, Paul. Too late, John. You have as much time as you need. It's the manager who... I have to hurry. The answer is Roberto Mancini. Three more questions to uh, follow. Fingers off us, gents. Mancini has managed which club? Yes, John. No, I, sorry, too slow. Paul is the correct answer. Two more questions to follow. At which current English Championship club did Mancini finish his playing career? Lazio. Wrong. The answer is Leicester City, English Championship Club. Who did Mancini replace as Inter's manager? The answer is Alberto Zaccaroni. Great going, guys. <laughs> well, time now. Nervous. Time Nervous. now for our next grid. See if you can identify who this is. Yes, Paul. Oh, do you know what? It's gone, I'm sorry, too <laughs> slow. John, you've got as much time as you need. Patrick Vieira, okay? Patrick Vieira is fine. Sorry, Paul. Three more questions coming your way. Which country was Vieira born in? Senegal. Correct. From which club did Arsene Wenger sign Vieira in 1996? Milan. Which one? AC. Correct. How many French clubs has Vieira played for? No. Wrong. But for one, that was can. That is the end of one-on-one. -on -one. Let's have a look at the scores. At the end of one-on-one, -on -one, the White Devils have maintained their three-point lead. Seven for them, four for the Invisibles. So nothing much in it, really. As we head to the break, just a reminder, it's an opportunity for you to get involved with our very special SMS competition. Here's your chance to grab a brand new MP3 player, courtesy of our good friends at Samsung. To take part, all you have to do is tell us which footballing favourite scored this great goal. Was it A, Mario Quinn, B, Julio Arca, or C, Juan Pablo Angel? If you think you know, SMS kickoff, followed by either A, B, or C to one of the numbers that you see on your screen, and that piece of MP3 perfection could be yours. We'll announce the winner next week, but right now, we're off for a break. So stay put, and we'll see you in two.
Welcome back to Samsung Kickoff, where the White Devils lead the Invisibles by three points. Heading into round two, it's called the draw. In the draw, there are two sets of balls to my right and to my left. Each ball has a number that relates to a category. They could be difficult, they could be easy. It's going to be the Invisibles playing the first round of the draw. Let's have a look at some of the categories on offer for them. It could be the Incredible Sulk, perhaps Scottish goalkeepers. They probably want to avoid that one. How about Irish managers?